All the Green Lantern casting news yesterday really drowned out another piece of casting news that I even talked about a teeny tiny bit in my Green Lantern video, but I wanted to go back to because it is kind of interesting. So Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, we know Miley Alcock is going to be playing Supergirl, the Woman of Tomorrow. I believe there are some other actors who've been thrown around as potentials for Ruthie and maybe other characters, I don't know. But we got confirmation of a casting for the villain of the film, the character Krem, who is a evil, mean space pirate that everybody hates. If this movie is anything like the book it is based on, Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow by Tom King and Bill Severly, Krem is going to do bad things in the beginning of the movie, and then he's going to get pursued for the rest of the movie by Supergirl and Ruth, this little kid that Supergirl sort of adopts. Not like adopts, like as a parent, but adopts, like takes her on this journey. People always describe the comic as true grit-like, and I do think that's a fair way to describe it. But we got an actor for Krem, and it's not the one I'd hoped for, not hoped for necessarily, but in my Who Should James Gunn's Friends Play in the New DCU, I suggested Bradley Cooper would be a good Krem, and that's just because before he was like an Oscar actor and a serious director, he used to be really good at playing jerks, like just plain old, you hope this guy gets what's coming to him, jerks, and that's what Krem is. But. I think the actor they found is interesting. His name is Matthias Skonertz. He is Belgian. And you probably, well, I guess there's a couple things people might recognize him from. What I recognized him from, mostly, was a movie called The Old Guard, which is one of those Netflix movies where the action is cool and the characters have good chemistry and you forget about it almost immediately. I enjoyed it. I remember seeing this one and being like, oh, that was pretty good. But like looking back two years later, I had next to no memory of it. So I watched it again. Just to see what the deal is with Matthias's character, Booker. What archetype does he fill in this group? Does he fill it well? What's his vibe? Like, can he be a good creme? But okay, so if I'm ranking all the casting in the new DCU so far, at the bottom, no disrespect to Anthony Kerrigan, I just don't think he's like a metamorpho type the way I would expect it. And then everybody else is in the middle. And then at the top, Matthias. Because the old guard is a creme audition tape. This guy is the swarthy, mean, kind of untrustworthy member of the old guard. The old guard, for people that haven't seen this movie, and it was, you know, the number one movie on Netflix, so we all watched it many, many, many times. But the, the gist of it was there's a group of eternal warriors who are being hunted, and they don't have, like, superpowers. They can't fly or anything like that. They just cannot die, and they've lived long enough to develop some skills. So it's like they're good shots and they're good fighters. One of them is this character Booker, played by Matthias. And spoilers for the old guard, he's a member of the original crew, he doesn't take things seriously. He is kind of a jerk. And then he ends up double-crossing his teammates, selling them out, getting them killed. Well, not all of them, but like at least one of them. And then he is redeemed. But he's a bad guy. And I think his look is perfect for Krem. Like Krem, obviously, is more of a beard, but he can have the same face. This guy just, man, and hearing him speak, because he is Belgian, he has an accent, and he's done different accents in different movies. But just the way he handles himself, his mannerisms, I can totally see a scene where this character is like, Sitting in a bar, just threatening Supergirl or threatening Ruthie or whatever they end up having this character do. And then doing something bad and leaving. Like, I don't think this needs to be incredibly complicated. If we're talking about James Gunn, a character I think you could maybe compare it to is the High Evolutionary. And not that they're similar at all. Because Krem is a pirate who is tough and mean and does bad things. But in the sense that you don't need to get this guy's whole backstory. He doesn't need to give a big speech about why he's mean. We just need a character who we, the audience, are immediately going to be like, I hate that guy. I hope Supergirl and Ruth kill him. So like James Gunn, this is this is fantastic. I'm very into this casting. I think Matthias is an actor that I never would have expected for this. And he has other credits. He's been in The Danish Girl. He's in many other foreign movies that I haven't seen or heard of. But he seems like a solid actor, very serious guy. Just man, this guy was born to play a villain. So that is the Nando V movie seal of approval for Matthias Skongard as Krem. So thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoy updates like this and conversations about casting and characters and superhero movies and other movies potentially, but mostly superhero movies because that's who the source material is. Yeah, like, it's familiar to me. But you know, we'll see if another if a book I like got cast or something. I'm sure we could talk about that. Either way, follow this channel, like, share, subscribe, stay safe, everybody. I'll see you next time.